Hi, this is Ron Mitchell, playing Hunter on PC. Today we're taking a look at a brand new tray for lodgers that have just been added. There are currently two types, Classy and Rustic. First we'll be looking at Classy. You can access your lodgers by pressing E by default at any lodge site that has a tray for lodge sign outside it. Right, let's go inside. When you enter your lodge, you get a choice um, of where you want to go. So. I've got my classy and my rustic version because that's what I own. You can also visit friends lodges which is very nice and see what animals they've got um, in there so very nice indeed. We've got lots of uh, furniture, antique style, lots of pictures, plants. So it's a bit bare at the minute because obviously I haven't hunted yet and this is our first look around it but we'll soon change that. In my first lodge, this lodge, I'm going to be doing very small animals now very small animals i mean like the absolute smallest you can get in a hunter of each species so that's going to be a challenge they're just as challenging to get as the very big trophy animals to get the very smallest so i thought that'd be a nice change and not many will be doing that got a wine rack here hunting motif on the wall an old duck shooting scene to get your animals in here you get the choice after harvesting them uh, you've got up to 24 hours for doing that or when Max probably pulls his finger out because he's probably very busy at the minute because he's doing all this stuff in and getting all your trophies ready so he must be overworked once he's done it you'll see it in your trophy manager by pressing L Classy can showcase up to 23 animals uh, from the store description now let's take a look at the rustic trophy lodge this is the newest trophy lodge. Um, it's got two levels and you can have up to 27 trophy slots. So that's four more than uh, the classy one. Also has a new feature, which is a radio. We'll have a look at that in a minute. Uh, let's just have a look at some of the stuff about. We've got binos, we've got a stand there, rest. Uh, we've got a nice little bag there, camo bag. One of my favorites, a hunting horn. Someone's boots, they're not mine, so I don't know who's left them there. Um, We've got uh, some uh, candelabra made out of, uh, looks like uh, antlers, which is very nice, very rustic, fitting the uh, setting. Lots of pictures, butterflies, moose, cuckoo clock, very Swedish. Is it Swedish? Yeah, it is, isn't it? Um, or is it German? I can't remember now. <laughs> got a moose uh, motif on the wall. This lodge definitely feels a lot bigger. Nice big stone. Uh, fireplace a moose rug someone's rocking chair and one uh, cup with doc's been in here drinking my coffee got a uh, rabbit on the wall quite a few doors i wonder if they'll extend them in the future there is a bundle on at the minute where you can get both lodgers for just slightly more than a single one and that's why i've took advantage of here's the radio and let's see what happens when you press this Hello ladies and gentlemen and everybody oh, else. So you use this I'm to Johanna, listen to um, with past I episodes of uh, EW Joanna's uh, live streams for the hunter. So that's quite a nice function. Hopefully build on things like that in the future. These doors, windows have been nice to go out on the veranda there, take a look at uh, over the sea or whatever it is, the lake. Nice uh, shed on the door for a door handle. Nice little touch there, some more pictures, old hunting uh, pictures, and finally, what's this up here? Oh, it's a bear and a cubs playing in the uh, forest, so very nicely done. This one is definitely bigger inside, you can definitely feel it as you walk around. The functions are just the same and gameplay in the classy one and the rustic one. This is going to be my trophy room, where all the big monsters and the rares you see me get, that's that, that's what's going in here. I'm going to be sticking them in there. Oh, that's an old map. Is that the actual uh, islands and reserves of the hunter? I think it looks like it. So now we've took a look at those, I think what we should do is um, we should obviously add a trophy. Now, I'm on Logger's point at the minute, so I think, I'm not sure what to hunt, but while I'm here, I might as well go for feral hogs. That could be my first addition to the trophy cabinet. We've got to get some first, haven't we? So 
what we're looking for now is monster feral hogs to stick in my rustic lodge so we've come to my feeder and there's not many feral hogs here so I'm a bit disappointed but you never know sometimes you can only get four or five instead of 20 which this feeder does produce quite regularly uh, and one of those can be very big so I'm just having a look now and one there does look very nice I come from a different place than normal and yeah that's big that is very very big oh what's that one that one's even bigger can't believe that we're gonna shoot that one that is definitely going down you know what we'll try to get the other one as well oh no 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 brother no he's running away I think we've got that one I'm not sure what I was mainly after was that first one as soon as that score popped up for hello <laughs> it was uh, it was like that a gold uh, winning composition hog so let's go over and collect it I'm glad I got that one but the, there was another one that looked really big like 1100 plus as well as this one but this one did look very big indeed so um, what is it gonna score this is definitely gonna be an addition I can tell before even getting the score Scores. 1168 that is a very big feral hog here's a trophy shot that is a great first addition to my trophy lodge um, very happy with that that's right up there that would probably win you a comp most of the time so that's a very nice addition very happy with that the other hog that escaped that looked like that was probably 1100 as well so to get two that big uh, you do get it now and again but it's not very common I'm going to go over and have a look, uh, I've just added it to be uh, stuffed and uh, Max will be doing his work, so hopefully that's ready when I get back from the lodge. We did hit this pig, but I'm wondering if I shot the wrong one, because I concentrated on the uh, main one and shot that. It's definitely going down, and it'll be dead just here, so we did kill it, but I'm looking at the weight and everything and I'm thinking... I've shot the wrong one when they all ran. Here's the pig. No! <laughs> the other one escaped. I shot the wrong one. So run does mess up. No! <laughs> uh, we'll go and track the other one down because that looked very big. It probably hasn't gone far. So we've just gone down the dip from where my lodge is, uh, lodge, where my feeder is. And I can see it, but I've got a pig right in front of me, so I've got to shoot it quick because this one is going to charge me. Oh no, I rushed that one. I think I might have messed it up, but there was a pig there, he's just running down the hill. It was literally like he come from behind the rock and he was going to charge me. Shall I shoot it? Nah, he's only a small one, so we'll leave him. But I know I hit the other one, I'm just hoping it's like a vital. Otherwise, we'll be tracking this one forever. But we've got one trophy to add to the lodge. I don't think this one's as big as the other one, but uh, which was a very, very big uh, feral hog. But uh, it did look very nice. And if it is 1100 plus, I do want that because, like I say, two of those in one hunt is not not very common. All right, here we go. Where's the track? Where did we hit it? Oh, here we go here's the blood we got it in the intestines so not ideal but that will be down so we've tracked down the feral hog he's down by the beach probably wants to see the sea before it passed that here it is what is it going to score yep look at those tusks that's a big one scores 11.09 so that's another very big feral hog very pleased about that two 1100s in one and the first one would get you gold or silver in the comp I'm not in the comp for them but uh, I'm just saying that they are pretty nice so great addition to my rustic lodge I'm not gonna give Max any more work with that one so right let's go back to the lodge 
and I think it's time to mount our trophy and I'll show you how to do that now here we go this is the rustic one while I'm here I'll just show you how you can access the friends lodgers just click the box and up pops all your friends and if you click one of their names you can go to their lodges if it's open so that's pretty sweet and quite simple so back to the rustic lodge in we go let's take a look at the mounting system now where do we place it now I've got the hog at the minute mount on the wall because I'm going to show you how it works right here we go basically you've got a picture of the building these are the walls the perimeters there's the plaques in the middle there's the species down the bottom which when you drop this box down you select what you want what trophy man and as you select one of those down the bottom it will show you what animals you can use for that trophy man so in a minute we've got a full body that's the species we can use for it uh, feral hogs we can only use a small plaque so when we select that you get all the animals that can be fit on that trophy mount at the bottom you move it to where you want on the location uh, just by dragging and dropping it in the box it's pretty simple if you get stuck and you're not sure you can press F which is on the right and all the options pop up of what you can do with a man if you press the right hand trigger button on your mouse the information for the animal pops up also while you're doing that if you press left you can swap the poses of the animals like face and stuff so pretty sweet quite simple takes a couple of minutes to work out how to do it so very nice very easy to understand so there's my feral hog he's man he looks almost like he's smiling um, I do like that so this is going to be a series for me um, I'm going to be hunting animals and I'm going to be doing it based on what you suggest in my comments. So I'm going to take a little rest now after showing you this, sit by the fire and have a mug of coffee and put my feet up. This is episode one of my series on trophy lodgers so the next episode will be based on people's comments on what I'm going hunting for to add to my trophy beam. That animal will be based on what you say. So drop that in the comments what you want me to go for next. I'm Ron McTube. Please subscribe to my YouTube channels. Hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching. Bye bye.